All right, this is my first trip to Mexico and I discovered nine things that I think they're not so obvious and I wanna share with you in this video. Mexico has a lot of art. Now we're in Frida Kahlo Museum. Frida was a Mexican painter. When you come here, you can really see she went through a lot of pain in life and she was expressing this through these art pieces, through the painting. You can tell there's a lot of self-portraits and on the other hand, she was trying to show the body doesn't need to be perfect either. She has so many accidents and surgeries over the years, probably you should read about it. One thing you should definitely do when you come to Mexico is come to this Frida Kahlo Museum. I'm, I'm not a museum guy. I'm I'm okay going to one museum maybe every time I travel, but this is crazy. This is just the life of this person in this house. Okay, so when you come to Mexico, you know that in Mexico you have very sophisticated food, very colorful and all that. But on the other hand, there's something very, very important, which is called vitamin T. It's the key to Mexican happiness. Pretty much everything that you can find with the letter T and you can find it on the street. Tortas, tostadas, tacos, la collo. Pretty much everything started with a T is part of the vitamin T. Part of the Mexican diet and the secret for the happiness. Tortas in Latin America literally mean cakes, but in Mexico tortas is like a sandwich. The sandwich that you stuff it with meat or cheese or whatever you want. The bread has like uh, two lines and it's divided in three. The original bread is called telera, amazing. It's white bread, so if you don't like white bread, probably you want like this, but it's really worth trying. This is part of the vitamin D. It's actually called Swiss oak because it's only cheese. The original is with ham, with ham. There's zero tourists here, it's just local people. So eating now tostada, and if you see my tostada at the moment, it's pretty much a deep fried tortilla which is very crunchy and then they have a variety of toppings. You can put vegetables, meat, cheese, cream and that is it pretty much. My personal favorite way to get some vitamin T is with tacos, the most iconic Mexican food. They are generally composed of corn tortillas, meat, cilantro, onion and salsa. But if you don't eat meat, you have vegetarian options. The best way to eat them is quickly and aggressively while continuously making an mmm. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. We pay like $2 for 6 tacos. Tacos de canasta. Like hoyos, like a very, very thick tortilla, I think, like stuff. You can choose beans, uh, cheese, and stuff like that, and then you put your toppings, and that's it. Fresh, dried, ground up, sliced. Mexicans love chiles for the flavor, texture, and the heat. They're used in and on almost everything, including salsas and even sweet foods like pineapple and mango. This is the advantage of Mexico. He was telling me that they have chiles since a very young age, since they are four years old. Digo que de los cuatro años comen chile. Eso es increíble, una cosa increíble. That's why they have the big advantage, right? Us, we just start when we're over 18. Anyway, this is fruit mango with uh, a lot of different chiles, salt and lemon. Beautiful. know what Mexican food is till you come here and this is 100% true I try so many Mexican restaurants in London in Madrid and so on nothing doesn't taste like this the truth is that you can have the best Mexican restaurant in your neighborhood but it's not gonna taste like this even tacos the one we try abroad have nothing to do with the Mexican tacos now I'm having some quesadillas and the food is really delicious and it doesn't taste at all like the Mexican food abroad. You know that Cristina doesn't like repetition at all in any kind, but she wants to come back to Mexico. And that means that the food is very tasty. The bus was not too bad, actually, I don't know why people say don't take the bus, don't take the bus, it was not too bad. Well, this is called Metro Bus, Metro Bus. No issues, we went to this local market, got the food, took the bus, and now... Oh my gosh, I love Plaza Garibaldi, it's where all the mariachis are here. And I have to say one thing, ahorita, ahorita actually means in five minutes, in two hours, in five hours, it doesn't mean right now, like ahora, now, in Spanish. So next time you hear a Mexican saying ahorita, just be careful. Okay, so the other thing is safety. So Mexicans since a very young age, they learn how to be more alert and pay attention to their belongings. 
You know, I was born and raised in Argentina and it's the same in my country. You just need to be more alert because you know there's people around that are checking you. Obviously you have areas that are more safe than the other ones, but on the other hand, you still need to be responsible like anywhere in the world and pay attention. And Mexicans particularly learn from a very young age to do this. So if you're a tourist, you're not going to be with your camera everywhere. For example, right now, me, I have a massive camera, but I'm in a very, very sort of a secure area full of police. Just try to be more mindful in terms of where I go. On the other hand, yesterday I was in the center in a massive market full of people and for some reason I wanted to use my camera and probably that was a bad decision because there were people around checking me and, you know, it's, it's like everything. You don't want to be showing too much your possessions, but on the other hand, it's not as crazy as people describe. Try to find the balance, common sense, and and you will be fine. Oh my gosh, traffic in Mexico City. Can you hear? This is crazy. And traffic lights mean nothing. Yellow, green, red, nothing. People still go through. The police is here. They need to stop the traffic. And even that, sometimes they don't even follow it. I think it's just, just too many people, too many cars. But yeah, it's not that simple to cross and to drive in Mexico City, as you can see. Mi casa, tu casa. Mexican people are super, super, super welcoming. We spent over a week here in Mexico. I cannot even explain you how much I like these guys from everything. Too many days in the darkness. Always polite, always willing to help, always trying to help you out as well, even though sometimes they don't know. So that's the thing, Mexican people will send you everywhere because they want to please you and they cannot say, I don't know. So even though they don't know, they will send you somewhere. So for example, when you go to the market and you're confused or you're lost and you say, hey, do you know what this market is? And they will say, yeah, yeah, yeah. three quadras, three quadras or three blocks away. And then you go three blocks away and there's nothing. Oh my gosh, Mexico City. In any case, you, you get my point. They will always try to help you. They're super nice people. And I think whatever judgment you have before coming, like, you know, like they don't like Americans or they don't like this type of people is not true and if you can speak the language it's gonna be even better so if you can speak espanol they will love it but they're very curious about your culture as well when you speak to them they will ask you question oh, how about your country how about that what's about the food like what do you eat they're really curious people we went to a lot of different markets and they were asking us a lot of different questions yeah, I think that's what Mexican people have. And when they host you, so for example, we stay with a few friends and parents of our, of our friends. They were extremely nice and they told us straight away, Mi casa, tu casa. Still 